what stands out in Shashi Tharoor's portfolio? And what stood out to me was the multifarious, multitudinous mutual fund schemes that he has. And I'm probably using lightweight Tharoorian words here, but then what that probably, probably means or should mean to you is that they are way too many. Let's take a look at some of those though. You have uh, bank deposits of 10.08 crore rupees, and these are varied in multiple banks, including banks abroad. And then let's come to the mutual fund holdings, which is as many as 1.72 crore in 23 or 24 schemes. And seven of those schemes are equity-linked savings schemes. And this is incredible for an individual that has total assets of over 50 crore is still thinking about saving taxes. Uh, some of the big holdings, however, are in the likes of HDFC Credit Risk Fund, Franklin India Focused Equity Fund, as well as ICIC Approved Multicap Fund, the BAF Fund, the Balanced Advantage from, Fund from ICIC Approved, as well as HDFC Flexi Cap Fund. He's also got RBI bonds and certificates of deposit. By the way, those are short-term uh, instruments, debt instruments, to the tune of 3.61 crore rupees. He's got a portfolio management scheme with JM Financial, to the extent of 36.7 lakh rupees. He's also algo trading with an entity called ST Advisors to the tune of 1.23 crore rupees. Uh, and he's finally got gold worth 32 lakh rupees, US Treasury worth 2.02 crore rupees, overseas equity which eclipses everything from domestic holdings at 9.33 crore rupees. One would have to ask if he holds uh, the FANG stocks or, in fact, uh, some of the other large entities there, including NVIDIA. A Bitcoin ETF, which was mentioned earlier to the extent of 5.11 lakh rupees. Bitcoin to the moon, Mr. Tharoor. And options that are currently open worth about 20 lakh rupees. So it seems like Mr. Tharoor's investment portfolio is almost as savvy as his vocabulary, uh, apart from his mutual fund holdings.